Hey folks, and welcome to the Salty Seaman. As promised, doing another uh, military media bullshit on another transforming aircraft carrier. This time, instead of one from the 80s, let's go all the way modern. Brand new broadside. Uh, I might have called the other one broadside on the other uh, video before. That one was flat top, for the record. Uh, this is, he said, Brent's making new. He is a triple changer. He also turns into a plane. And, uh, of course, a robot. He's also a headmaster. But we're going to ignore all that and just talk about how closely this matches up to an actual U.S. aircraft carrier. Now, right away, this is a total improvement from the 80s. The engineering and sculpting of toys these days are just have improved so many in so many ways over the 80s. Uh, depending, I mean, obviously, it's going to depend on your likes and dislikes, but... I'm quite amazed at a lot of the uh, sculpting and engineering that went into this. But of course, it does have its problems. Now, first of all, we see right here at the beginning, they did a, uh, a taper at the front of the aircraft carrier, which is not done on uh, you know, Nimitz and Reagan-class aircraft carriers. Uh, so kind of, if it's supposed to be an American aircraft, U.S. aircraft carrier, very bizarre. Number 36, which would have to go back to, I think, World War II for a 36 in the aircraft carrier world. Uh, a couple things that came with these little, uh, these tiny little white planes. Uh, they're non-transforming, but I thought it was a nice little touch. Uh, I believe these might be faux aerial bots, just given the number and size and types. I have to ask one of my more hardcore transformer friends about that. Uh, one of the main things you're going to get into this, besides the taper, we've got to go talk about scale here. Look at that super tiny island, which just seems to be a problem with these things. I don't know why. Now, funny thing is, they're fairly in uh, scale with the, uh, the planes. But if the, if the planes and the island are in scale, then this is about, I'd guesstimate, this aircraft carries about four times the size of what a regular one would be for imagining regular old humans piloting these things. So this is a monstrous aircraft carrier. Uh, maybe that makes sense with transformers. It depends on how you want to roll it up. Now here's a neat little addition is they actually put, uh, if you can see those indentations uh, for uh, arresting cables, which I like the idea that they went through the trouble of doing that. However, look at the size of them compared to the size of the planes. They would rip the plane apart. Those are like the size of oak trees. <clears throat> of course, you got these sideways going uh, arresting landing. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. That's, that's fine, I guess. Uh, we got here uh, this little attachment. That's the headmaster and his cannon kind of seat thing. Again, for an aircraft carrier, there really isn't any need for this. And this placement right here, which would be along the catwalks and the hangar bay, would be super loud and killing everybody's eardrums if there wasn't like shells flying into the hangar bay. Now, let's turn it on the other side. You see, like. Right now, I got it propped up on its stands. I don't know if this thing is float. I have not float tested it. But one thing I would have liked, like you see, there's the arms, which is where about the uh, catwalks and then uh, essentially where the hangar bay would be. If they'd sculpted something into there to like represent, you know, a catwalk or a hangar bay, I know it, I, I, I've taken into account that, you know, this thing has to transform into a robot. But I think there could have been something done with the sculpting on here to make it. Uh, a little more representative of a uh, of a, the side of a ship, vice basically just his arms hanging out here. You know, I, I don't know what they could have done, but I, I would have appreciated the little nod. Uh, we get up here. We have what should be the uh, the catapults. I don't know. Kind of a mess here, but you know, especially given the size of the plant, it's like. You know, if this thing is four times the size of a regular aircraft carrier, there should be multiple, should probably be about eight to 12 cats. It has enough room for it with these size of planes. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a giant robot, so I guess I can kind of forgive it. And uh, overall, let's take a look. It, it's a pretty nice little toy and not a terrible representation of a U.S. aircraft carrier. 
which is essentially what they're going for here. It is not exact, it is not one-to-one -one scale, and it just can't be unless you're doing those very you know, precise scale models. You're not gonna see that in any kind of toy. Uh, on terms of transformation, it is putting, as most modern transformers go, it kind of is putting a bunch of panels together and hope they stick, and this one is super fidgety. I'm always having a problem getting this panel to stay in place, as you can see. And I said, that, but I, 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 really, I think its biggest drawback in terms of bullshit is, is the size of the island. I think that, I think even engineer, engineering wise, they could have made that bigger and somewhat closer to scale. But overall, you can see the, the changes from a 1980s MicroMaster uh, aircraft carrier to a uh, leader size class uh, modern transformer. You know, the improvements are there. It's a fun toy. I like looking at it. I, I just wish the scale was better. That's going to do it for uh, this military media bullshit. Um, for those of you that, you know, have came along with my ridiculous toy reviews, I'm glad this is all in good fun. Next one will be a movie. Uh, we'll see what that is. I'm probably going to do it this week. And I'll get back on track with uh, what people like and want to see. But having some fun here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good fucking stuff. And that's all to see. And we'll see you freaks later. Peace.